great. So I want to thank everybody for uh, coming to this uh, press release for us. Uh, it's a very big uh, uh, stepping stone, at least for my company, in dealing with uh, a great partner, DuPont Fabros. And basically what's uh, coming out is a very quick connection that's completed that goes from the landing stations out in Long Island back to the DuPont Fabros facility. Uh, this is a high-speed, fully owned network that OCG has completed to this facility, which bypasses Manhattan through a number of crossings that we have from New Jersey to Staten Island and out to Long Island directly. So the idea uh, behind this network is that there are a lot of companies that are looking to get from New Jersey over to Europe, and they always have to go through the pains of going through Manhattan, whether it's on the diversity issues that they have or if it's on the costs. So this particular uh, route is very good for the industry, and it's a big stepping stone for OCG. And in partnering with DuPont Fabros, it brings a lot of uh, good resources to the table for those carriers that are out there and those customers. Um, OCG has basically built this network that uh, reaches from DuPont Fabros, goes through Staten Island via directional bore and submarine cables out to the landing stations, and also is spurred off with a Manhattan bypass or a diverse route into Manhattan coming in from the east side, which basically is for those customers that are looking to complete a ring where right now or presently they're bringing their fibers in and out on the Jersey side of Manhattan. So this connectivity that's being put out there in conjunction with the other carriers that are out there can provide a lot of solutions to a lot of the different customers that are out there and actually open up, uh, I believe, a lot of other capacity and a lot of other business and help Manhattan and Long Island and New Jersey prosper from these different connections. So as it shows on the map, the fiber goes through Staten Island, comes back into the city, hits all the major carrier hotels, 32 Avenue Americas, 60 Hudson, 111, and OCG presently has over 150 buildings on net in the city and is built out on almost every street and avenue south of Central Park. So the last mile reach which a lot of other carriers and people uh, benefit from OCG's uh, density, can now take advantage of this and they can bring their data or their other infrastructure or their other services or needs back through Staten Island into New Jersey. So at that point, I'm gonna pass it over to Vinay, good partner. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Hello, everyone. I'm Vinay Nagpal, the Director of Carrier Relations at DuPont Fabros Technology. For those of you not familiar with DuPont Fabros, we are a carrier neutral builder, operator, and manager of wholesale data centers. We currently have 10 operating properties in four markets in the US. We have seven data centers in Northern Virginia, one in Chicago, one in Piscataway, New Jersey, about which we are talking about today, and our newest facility is in Santa Clara in the Bay Area. These 10 properties combined represent 205 megawatts of critical power commissioned, which equates to about 2.4 million square feet. When Brad and I first started talking about bringing OCG's Manhattan bypass network into our Piscataway site, we used to operate out of a trailer as our site was still under construction. Um, we opened the site in November of 2010, and since then, we have added multiple customers from various verticals, including financial, media, technology, and retail co-location. Our retail co-location partner in the Piscataway data center is Net2Easy. Net2Easy has a retail co-location product, and they also have a network service available. Alongside leasing, our focus has been to continue to add fiber networks to our Piscataway data center. We have added 13 carriers in the last year into our facility. And today I'm very pleased to announce alongside with Brad that OCG's network is fully operational in the building. As Brad explained, it gives our customers a unique route to reach their end users in Europe and also to the financial exchanges in Europe, avoiding the congestion points in the New York City. In the last year, we've had some uh, interesting developments in New Jersey uh, facility. As you can see in the, from the picture, we completed installation of a 2.15 megawatt solar plant on the rooftop 
making our data center the largest facility with a rooftop solar installation in the state of New Jersey. We increased our carrier capacity from 5 to 13, which includes network routes to the NASDAQ in Carteret, New Jersey, and also to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange in Aurora, Illinois. The New York Stock Exchange deployed a direct connect safety access center from NJ1 to MAWA in a low latency route, which is less than a millisecond round trip over 10G. With Brad's OCG network in the facility, it gives our customers a reliable, low latency route to Europe, thereby increasing connectivity options to our customers. With that, Brad and I will be happy to take any questions. Thank you. Platform. So there's 10G waves available, low latency waves out to the landing stations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, our goal has been to uh, have the route operational to be able to provide wave services to our customers who are in the building to directly reach Europe and also, in effect, to open it up for international carriers to find a way to get to us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.